Hey everybody, Ormac here for this game here. And hmm, well I didn't hear one way or the other whether you guys wanted to have Arabeth or Valen in the party, because we're certainly not leaving Deacon. Perish the thought. Um. Okay. <laughs> Oh, he's actually pretty useful now. Even if he doesn't use his crossbow as much as he should. Mostly because he spends all his fights using his spells, which aren't really useful anymore, but what can you do? He's got a lot of buffing spells, which is more than I can say for these two. I think we might just stick with Valen, though, because he's already got... Hmm. Wait a minute, let me see something here. Oh, that straw that broke the camel's back? I think I just picked it up. Welcome back. All right, Arabeth. Can you use this? You can. Although you still look like a ghost. Eight plus five. Two plus six. I think we're going to be sticking with the searing armor. The hells are a dangerous place to be. For me as much as for you. Yes. Uh, strated party limit. No. Well, we can at least see how Arabeth does out here. First, though, we need to figure out that last fold mystery. I recall where you are. Yeah, the fifth fold mystery. I wonder who knows it. <gasps> I bet it's him. Fucking closet lift angel lovers. <laughs> man in this sleeping man that an ulcer. It's a plain draw, alright. Well, he did know one of them. But he just knew what is he. Which I guess is better than nothing. Arabeth, do you have a yeah, decent equipment, I guess? Hey, Deacon. Give me these. And that, I guess. Oh, yeah, she's already got the fire belt. Fire giant belt thingamabob. Huh? She's become slightly equipped now. She still has no cloak or 
What about you guys? Yes. Sound of the fiends? Yes. That's the sound of the fiends. Well, that's good to know, I guess. Fiend sounding and all. Do you have anything yes. to say? Yes. Such language. She knew one of them. That he's from Elysium. I just gotta ask people, I guess. Just not that friendly. What was the answer? I don't know. What was the answer? What could he have asked? Oh wait, we already know what he asked. That was the... He sought the knower of places. So... find a pilgrim that will talk to me, they might know. Yes. What do you want? Hello to you there. What do you want? Well, you say the same thing. No, nothing new there. Maybe the dragon knows. Or did I already talk to him about it? Out more like it. Oh, probably so. What about you? Do you know anything? Well met. Okay. I guess you haven't been here very long. Or at least you found a business. Which is pretty good, I suppose. Ply your trade, man. Ply your trade. Well, I don't know. What was the answer? Answers, what are they? I need to know now. Hmm. Puzzling. Alright, well, let's 
just try seeing what we can do with what we've got. You are welcome here. Well, we know the first through the fourth. I wonder if I can guess the fifth. Very well. Let us see if you are ready. Answer me, pilgrim. Who is the sleeping man? An elven war hero, veteran of the... Uh. Yes, his is a pure soul with no trace of pride or vice or vengeance. In following him, we take on his beneficence. Now answer me, pilgrim. From where did he come? <laughs> Celestia? <laughs> Oh dear. He does. Elysium is a place of beauty and peace and perfection. Yet he turned his back on it and never returned, choosing instead to roam the plains. So answer me, pilgrim. Why did he leave? He knew that without passion we are nothing, and thus he journeyed many years in search of his true love. His journey brought him here to the frozen wastes of Kanya. Answer me, pilgrim. Who did he seek? The Noah's Noah ruled this plain before the Betazoo claimed it as their hell. In his wisdom, the sleeping man asked simply where his true love would be found. Uh, Tell me, pilgrim, the right answer is missing. What All the others the had six options. locked oh this is such a great thing oh wait I wonder if Arabeth knows Arabeth come here come here I think you're the only person I haven't talked yeah, to yeah I can do that ah. Find you by the gates of Kenya. Oh, that's it. Jeez, why didn't I think of that before? Also, why does it fade to black when I go in here and then the lights slowly turn on? I spent long and hard pondering. You are welcome it. here. Yep, Very well. That, yes, that, his is that, that he does. That, he knew that without that. the Noahs ruled this plain before the Beta Zoo claimed it as their hell. In his wisdom, the sleeping man asked simply where his true love would be found. Tell me, Pilgrim. That. So he returned here, to the gates, content in the knowledge that she would find him. Weary from his journeys, he fell asleep. That was all long, long ago. But still he waits here, dreaming of his true love. You have mastered the fivefold I'm mysteries of the sleeping man, Pilgrim. When you enter his chambers, Wear this crystal around your neck. It will help you see his dreams. Thanks. Why am I bothering to do all this? No, oh, it's the only thing to do, I guess. I used a key I didn't have. I think. Whoa! Excuse me, but before we go any further... Yes? Do you feel it? The sleeping man. He exudes goodness. It's like being young again. Like being back in the temple in Neverwinter. Like being alive. You can feel it, can't you? My goodness. <laughs> Stop all your prancing around. Yep. Uh, All right. What did we 
come here to do? Hey, you. Examine him. Wisdom! Down with Mephistopheles, long live Baron Molecroft. forward, I guess. Reveals a dozen devils and a stranger. White as the mist that cloaks her. One devil? The Baron blooms above the rest, obese and toady. It clears his throat to speak. His form stretching, growing taller and darker. Thanks his generals for their assistance. They cower in fear before him. As he slowly takes his true form, that of Mephistopheles, the lord they thought they defeated. The devil's deceit, through which Mephistopheles was able to uncover those who conspired against his throne. Focus on Mephistopheles. He seems younger in this dream than you remember him, yet taller too. The arrogance of triumph swirls around him, almost corporeal. It's a certain bull is pride in his deceit. The rebel generals. Causes generals by the name, their true name. It sends them hurtling through Rucania's starless sky like meteors wrapped in flame. Banished, he declares, to the furthest wastes of Cania. May the glaciers bury you, and may all memory of your passing be stripped from heck, from the, uh, well, from Baytor. By your true names I command it so, and the woman in white. But what of me, my love? I gave you the true names of those who would betray you, and it's come to pass. Do you believe me now? My goodness. Knower of names, huh? The Baytor, with the knower of names somehow belonging to its previous existence. Since that other such ancient Baytorians must have existed in the sleeping man's time, though even they seem a rarity, hunted by the devils in near extinction. The notion of banishment. Through the mists come the image of a remote glacier. Its surface pocked by twelve smoldering pits. The pits slowly fill with drifting snow, the banished ones buried beneath its frigid weight. We'll see that eventually. Focus on the Reaper's true name. Seems nothing for you to focus on, no concept of the dream for you to cling to. He has never heard of the Reaper. Doggone it. Well, the tear, I guess. Ooh, harsh. Just a second, guys.
guys. Sorry about that. And someone in here. So, where were we? I'm able to focus on the shattered tear. Before long, it fades away to nothing. Seems that the dream is over and a new one has begun. Sleeping man. I'm almost dead from cold, but something either passion or madness still burns bright in his eyes. You've come in search of answers, and those hours at long last are near. Purple haze. Permeate everything, even the ice itself. Looking past the sleeping man, you see a string of red arrows burning bright in the purple air, leading towards the door. Seems that the ring he wears upon his finger, ring that has charted his course for him through the wastelands. And the door in the ice. <coughs> stumbles through. Grateful to be free of the icy winds, you feel yourself being pulled through more doors, down corridors, through rooms. There's a guardian, a beast left by Mephistopheles to bar the way. And blood. So much blood. There's another like it somewhere, already dead. And three others, more powerful, still at large. I have many questions, but I can only answer one. Feel the horror at the sleeping man as he ponders what to ask. On the room, difficult to, to focus on the features of the room. It somehow seems to be many places all at once, or maybe not a place at all. You don't know quite what to make of it. On the voice, female one, not unlike that of the knower of names from the sleeping man's previous dream. It's as if she had an older sister. This is it. She is called the Knower of Places. His questions? Where am I? Where do I belong? Where was the Knower of Names banished to? Where must I go? Where will I be my true love? Where is she now? Where will she die? Where will I die? Where can good be found? Where can evil be vanquished? Where can I find the truth? on the question that he asks. You brought me here nowhere. So, my true love is today, or where she might... where I might learn the name by which I'll know her? Whether it's you can give me would help me. Instead I'll ask... Where is... where is it that I will meet her? Tell me that, and I... shall wait there till she has found me. Let that be my question, knower. An answer true. This answer is buried in a squall of purple snow as the sleeping man returns to the gates of Kenya. He removes a ring from his finger. Where's the answer? She will find you at the gates of Kenya, city of lost souls. It seems to exist in the sleeping man's dream. Instead, the gatehouse portal lies exposed atop plain ice. The city must have been built up around it later. At a later date, as the gatehouse saw more use. Uh, the ring? It split back into three interlocking bands, from which it was fashioned. Jimmer for the bling below the ice, that it might be safe. Stone bed heated from below and waited many days for his true love. When she did not come, he slowly fell asleep, content in the knowledge that she would find him there. door. A vault, huh? Also, if you don't have the wisdom to uh, delve out his dreams, you have to get that horn to wake him up. But, generally, if you can do the dream things, it will be better because you get uh, pretty good experience from that. Ah, well. Anyway, guys. I think that'll do. We'll figure out where this place is later. Alright. I'll see you then.